would uh, underwrite the this type of a facility then uh, the next step would be to go into the actual development process the way the financing works is that 85 percent of it would be uh, underwritten with a HUD loan uh, the, and it's not a subsidized HUD loan this isn't a subsidy program at all so that that particular type of uh, wording in your packet is not exactly accurate. It's, it's a market rate type of a loan, but it's uh, completely guaranteed. <coughs> There's mortgage insurance on it. So 85% of the loan is completely guaranteed by the federal government, uh, and there's no recourse back to you who would be the uh, issuer of that. The remaining 15% of it uh, is financed with this, uh, what the, is called a uh, Build America bond. And the Build America bond is the way it works is the whole, say, 11 or $10 million of the project is financed uh, with the HUD subsidy. 85% of it is guaranteed with mortgage insurance. Then there's a, a tax rebate on the entire amount of 35% of the interest that you would pay as a uh, municipality. That stream of income comes back and uh, is underwritten as a. Uh, the, the equity portion of it. So in, in, in essence, it becomes 100% financed. But it, again, it has to be something that the city wants. It has to be something that the city believes is uh, a need for their citizens, and uh, the city would end up being the owner of it and would have the uh, actual uh, ownership of it. If there's no interest in the city or you feel that there's sufficient uh, housing in the area for senior citizens, then, of course, uh, that wouldn't be something that you'd be interested in pursuing and, and we'd walk away. Uh, so we're just making this information available to you. If it does interest you and you would like to pursue it further, we'd be very happy to sit down and, and go into this in a lot more detail. Uh, and that's essentially what we're here tonight to, to tell you about. The type of facility it is, is uh, we do all kinds of different uh, senior uh, from the independent senior to congregate, which is a, a little higher in service, to assisted living, uh, to uh, Alzheimer's or memory loss care. We, we do the whole gamut of that. We've been doing that for about 30 years. And uh, uh, so we have quite a background of that information. Some of that is in this packet, and you can see the, the different types of facilities that we have. This particular facility is a, what's called a congregate facility. It's for essentially independent seniors that uh, the, all of the units are full apartment units, uh, but we offer services along with the, the, uh, uh, the, the unit for living. They, it is not just uh, uh, apartment units. We offer uh, entertainment type services. We offer food. We offer house cleaning. We offer uh, laundry service. Uh, all of those types of things, there would be transportation services that would be provided with it. So it's, it's a, a choice type of a thing where uh, seniors can have the ability to stay in their own uh, hot city or their own location without having to move to some other location. This is a, a <coughs> middle income type of a, of a uh, uh, project. What this type of a project normally costs in the market uh, today is $2,000 to $3,500 a month. This type of a facility, the way we offer the services, the services are offered on an a la carte basis. Uh, we can offer the same services for in the uh, $1,000 to $1,500 range. So you're uh, more, uh, the, the types of people that have regular pensions, who have uh, uh, who have lived in the city, who've developed the city, who've been the supporters of the city, the, the middle income <laughs> folks, are able to afford these kinds of services. And we've been quite successful in that we have about 18 of these uh, that are located in various locations throughout the state, uh, many of them in the Detroit area. So that's essentially what the type of product that we're looking at. Uh, the financing is the main thing, and that has to depend on you. If, if you decide that this is something you'd like to pursue, uh, we'd be happy to explore it with you in a lot more detail. So the average, the rate for an apartment is somewhere between $1,000 and $1,500? Correct. 
that you have listed the amenities of lobby with fireplace, community room, library, billiards room, mini theater. Is that what this building would include that's, also? That's correct. But it and states the there it's a three built, three story, and it says you said four story. Again, there's there's a long way to go on this thing. Okay, I it, just the, I mean the, I just want to make sure we're comparing apples to apples. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, who who provides the maintenance <coughs> if the city owns a building? Oh, again, the city is is yeah. y y we what we would propose mm -hmm. is that we would offer to give you a turnkey situation, mm -hmm. and then uh, we have. Uh, one of our partners who is involved with this thing is an uh, associated management company mm -hmm. and, and they have been around for 50 mm -hmm. years in this, in this area. They're located in Dearborn. Uh, they provide these types of uh, management services throughout. And, but you would be free to enter into a, a management contract with whoever you wish to enter into a management mm -hmm. contract with because it would be your facility. Uh, we would certainly like it if we would be able to do that for you, but uh, and we think we do it quite well. But again, mm -hmm. that would be totally up to you. Madam Mayor, I would like to say, I mean, this definitely has its pros and cons, but I think I have like 20 questions written down here, right here, that I would actually like to see some pictures. I would actually like to see some numbers on paper. I would, I mean, I would like to visually see what some of these look like. Uh, picture it like where it is. I would like to be able to see numbers before, after numbers, what we're talking about on what we'd be losing taxable income versus what we might be making profit on running the, the building. I would be open to having them give us an actual presentation, like aside from a council meeting, just do like a workshop and lay it on the table and say this is, this is what we got. I think sitting here like this uh, we're just getting the little bits and pieces, and sure. we need to get a more visual picture. I mean, this is a big undertaking. Absolutely. Very big undertaking, and I think um, we'd be remiss in not looking at it thoroughly, um, and we might be remiss in not taking it on. So we need to look at this very, very carefully, and I don't think this venue right here is the right one to be doing it in. Madam Mayor, uh, I kind of disagree with you. Uh, I don't think we're in a position right now, nor do we have the need. We have a high rise over on 14 Mile Road that I don't believe is full. There's vacancies in there. I don't think we can afford to go out for a bond issue to find some, finance something like this. We're having a hard enough time holding our head above water right now. Uh, the, the added uh, weight on the city for em employees or employee time to, to even plan it or to management after it, you know, we're cutting and cutting and cutting. And I just don't think this is in the financial future for us right now. I would not, I don't want to waste, personally, I don't want to waste their time to come back and put a presentation on as far as I'm concerned. It's, it's not. Uh, well, I'll tell you right now, this isn't the type of thing that our employees could take on. Well, it would definitely have to be a property management company. Well, then, okay, then we're going to pay somebody else to do something, that, and we're not going to make any money off of it. What you're, this is this is providing mm -hmm. a housing for our senior residents if they so desire to stay in the city. Am I correct? Absolutely. It is not a money making. Oh, it, it yes, it yeah. does make money. What certainly. kind of money are we going to That's make from it? That's what I'm saying. That's what I want to see. Again, we would have pro formas for you if it, we're here just to present the the option to you, and, and it's exactly what the two of you have, have zeroed right in on the on the the issue here. We're very happy to to present whatever you feel is necessary to help you make that decision. But the decision has to be yours. Mm -hmm. So if 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 it if it is true that it's not worth it to you to pursue this because you don't have the money or or whatever the situation is. That's fine. We'll, we're happy with that. But uh, by the same token, if you'd like more information, we'd certainly love to be able to provide now, that for you. One quick question: Does this include Section 8 housing? No. Okay. Are there? Uh, that, that, that's that is the the part of this. This is all market rate. Okay. Because when you mentioned HUD, I just wanted to make sure Section 8.